I suppose it's not really a week off, but have you had a nice, uh, nice free Saturday? Yeah, um, I think it's been good. Um, a couple of players had a bit of a rest, which was nice, and then back to it today, so getting ready for, for tomorrow. Obviously, this time off, it's nice to get to know the players. Obviously, an extended weekend, I guess, to to do a bit of team bonding, I suppose, to, to get to know your players more. Um, well, they've been away, so they've had the days off, so they've been back seeing family and trying to catch up before we go into a really busy Christmas period. So, um, yeah, I've got to know them by watching games more and then seeing them at training Friday and obviously today again, which was nice. Uh, of course, Tuesday, great performance over, over Cambridge, but it saw the end of, uh, of the Cambridge boss, Mark Bonner. Your reaction to that? Oof. Um, it's always sad to see managers go, if I'm honest. I'm not someone that likes seeing that. Um, I think he's been amazing for the club. The, you think about his story with the club, and I think it's a really hard decision. Um, but yeah, I never see... I like seeing managers going re regardless, because I think it's a tough gig. So yeah, I wish him all the best for the future. Um, uh, and going back into the game whenever you can, really. You mentioned it's obviously a busy period. Obviously, Christmas is notoriously busy for, for football clubs. How important is this week off? I know you've got a, a week where you've not got any midweek games as well coming up soon. How important is that time off before the, the Christmas schedule? Um, the Christmas schedule is really busy um, with travel and away games and obviously um, games come in thick and fast. I think we have to be prepared. We have to be ready for, for anything. Um, I think it's a really tricky situation for any club to be in because you know you've got to use a lot of bodies and a lot of people um, no doubt pick up injuries along the way because of how how intense it is um, but it's a really exciting I'm one of those coaches that loves the Christmas period and you know the fans love it we all we all love it so yeah we're really looking forward to getting going with it. Two clean sheets in the last three games is that defensive stability something you're really working on as a, as a team? We're trying to work on everything if I'm honest we're trying to work on being solid without the ball being good trying to press when we can get moments of press to get the ball back and then working a little bit with the ball. I think it's more around credit to the lads that have been playing in that position because been, they've been really solid and I, th I think they've shown some really good performances and I think it's even more so now that we've got in our back line really competition for places and I think you can see that and that's really exciting to see. So yeah, it's credit to them really with their desire to keep the ball out the back of the net, if you like, and, and get those clean sheets. I suppose it's a tale of old as time, isn't it? Never tinker with the defence is what my, my Gramps used to always <laughs> say to me. Is that defensive consistency as well really important for a, for a team going forward in this league? Yeah, I think so. Um, but I think you've got to trust, trust all of them, uh, and I do. So they've all got different attributes and different qualities, and I think it's more around tinkering to get the balance right um, rather than not changing things for the sake of changing it. I think... We have to just get the balance right of who we're playing against and how well they're doing and how each other complements each other's game, really. So I think it's more about balance for me in that sense. Of course, TJ Aoma used to struggle to get minutes under under a previous manager. He's come in and he's kind of been an ever-presence ever since you've come in. How impressed have you been with him since you've joined the club? Uh, he's a great character. He's a great young man. I've been really impressed with his, his character and his professionalism, first and foremost. Um, I think he's showed some real good performances and I think he's done well on the, on the ball as well. But I've, I've been really impressed with Alex, I've been really impressed with Jacko, um, I've been really impressed with all of, all, of, all of the back line with Pordy as well and we've got Sean coming back in. So like I say, I think more than anything it's, more, it's becoming more competitive in that area, which, which is only good really. Dylan Duffy again, one of those players, a young player that's shown glimpses of his, his talent before but now doing it on a bit more of a consistent basis as well. How important is that? As all the young players, I think it's we have to be mindful that's one of their challenges is consistency. You, you see the consistency in the older older group, not old group, but the older group. Um, but with all the young players, including TJ, including Alex, you know, all of the the young pros need to be consistent. And I think once you start seeing a bit more consistency in their game and their reliability, that's when their quality starts to show and their, their enthusiasm. I think Dylan's shown a little bit more consistency, which is good. And I, I think he got rewarded with his end product to, um, in Cambridge. We mentioned consistency, of course. I think the 14th of October against Burton Albion was the last time Lincoln City lost to a team in the league lower than them. How important is that? Because a lot of Lincoln City fans used to get frustrated that they're losing to teams lower than them, but beating teams above them. It should be the, the opposite, shouldn't it? So to have that consistency of beating teams that you're expected to. Yeah, I didn't know that. Um, so that's a new fact for me. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's, it's difficult. I think the league's tough. So depending on what personnel is available, away games are always tough. So even, you know, I thought they were really good against Cambridge, but it's a tough start and they had moments in that game. 
So I think sometimes you just need things to fall for you in the right way. But I think the discipline and the the character that they're showing at the minute is and working hard for each other as a team is what you can see on the pitch. Um, so I think, yeah, the consistency is really important. And like you said, the, the teams that are probably what your class is below you, but you know we're going to have Wigan on Saturday if we get you know through Akron and Stanley, and and they're really consistent as well. They're a good team. If they've been docked eight points, so they would be in and around us. So it's not always real. The league is what you look at, but we have to be good. Accrington then tomorrow. One win in eight for them, although they're ninth in the league. They'll be feeling the pressure then to, to go out and put a good result on. They're a good team. You know, they're a strong team. They're competitive. Um, they're good at set paces. Again, it's, it's a really tough place to go. You're, you've only got to look at some of the FA Cup um, wins this weekend to show that it's no easy game, really. Um, but they're definitely um, a strong team. It's going to be a difficult game. I know last year... We got beat by them at our place and Lucas saved a few penalties. Um, so that helps us having Lucas in goal maybe. But um, I think it's going to be a really tough game. And I think we've got to be mindful and be ready for, for what they throw at us. How's the squad been reacting to that with uh, Lucas and Ethan going back to their former clubs? Has there been a few jokes in the changing room about that? Oh, I don't think so. I think they've just been, not that I know of anyway, I think they've just been focused on, on the job really. And we've got to push to get, to get through the next round. And, you know, as a club... We want to take the cup seriously and we want to make sure we're really competitive and I think it's a chance for us to, if we perform well, get through to the to the next stages. How important is a good cup run? Good for team morale but also it might put extra pressure on the players going forward into this busy season. How do you balance that as a manager? I think winning can become a bit of a good habit um, so I think it's really important. I'm one of those you know, coaches that wants to keep the momentum as much as we can and I think it's better to do that and then players are more competitive for places so we'll be trying to win the game for sure and we'll put a really competitive team on the pitch to win the game um, more than anything so we can get through the cup run but also to keep the momentum in the league uh, and of course there's history for Lincoln in this competition winning it uh, in a few years ago how important is it to also you know be reminded of that history um, it's a new group it's a different group so but uh, you know it's great that the, the Lincoln's done well in this competition and why can we do well again if but we've got to perform we've got to make sure that we're a hundred percent ready uh, and hundred percent on our on our jobs ready and just finally going into the game obviously uh, last time out Sorensen Bishop and Rowan all out with with minor knocks how are they progressing yeah all progressing well so um, all of them will be in contention for uh, to be in the squad um, which is nice um, a few further along than others but we've got a really competitive squad back at the moment um, still some of the long-term injuries are out, but I think people are starting to get back, which is great.